We'll chat with that after way too long. The schedule's set up. The names are good to go. We're not done yet on stream tonight. Let's go over what this team's going to look like for this next season. Your quarterbacks, the newly renamed Aegon Targaryen III. Of course, you got Xavier Jarvis, Deontay O'Neal, and Bryce Frost, who will probably be our starter. Running backs, uh, Keontae Tyson. Obviously, you can tell who's red-shirted. Spencer Strickland, Ty Hardy, Tavian Grant, Bull Winkle Jr., and Bill Murray's Millbury. Never 34 freshmen again, my God. I'm sorry. At fullback, Cholesterol Lover, a.k.a. Lover, because Lover is blocked by their, their, their deal. Wide receivers, Javion Foreman, Javon Moore, LJ Young Jr., Scooter Page, Trey and Bell, say his name, he appears, and Ryan the Riot, Terrio. Your tight ends, Scott McLawler, CJ Peaks, I got no name, or he gets no name, Maverick Bentley and Miles Springer. At left tackle, Kalem Franklin, Jermaine Houston, and going bald. At left guard, Tariq Williams, Grant Huff, Andrew Spanway, and Harvard University. At center, Demarcus Perkins, Tony Gabagool, and Hugo Okapogo. Your right guards, Aiden Kramer, Isaiah Crowder, Bon John V. John Biovi, Tuka, not Tuka, and Cowbell Solo. At right tackle, Elijah Greenwood Jr., Damian Green, and Dion Markuk, as chat voted to keep Markuk. Left end, Ali McCrary, TBTT, and Jerry Donuffs, because J-E-R-R-Y is blocked by the bot, but Jerry Donuffs. On the right, Asher Varner, James Couch-Smith, John Decker IV, Damon Targaryen, Patty O'Furniture, and My Stones, Dinglin. Defensive tackle, Stephelin Green. <laughs> Not a custom character. Matt Shthano. DJ Dean. Old Tweet Got Me Cancelled. And Malachi Samuels. At linebacker, Bubba Van Claiborne. Kobe Garland and Buck Stonehouse. Another name chat elected to keep. Middle linebackers, Jordan Underwood. Mother My Jalen Hurts has returned and turning the frogs gay. On the right, Taj Coles, KJ Hartley, and Ellis Berry. At corner, Noah Collins Jr., Terrell Pace, Michael Roderick Jr., DeMarvin Holland, 69 Me Don, Kingsley Reese, Corey in the jail cell, Darkwing Duck, Paul Correa, and Brosala Endurance. Your safeties, Dakota Mills, Chris Ellinger, and Vito Scaletta. And a strong safety, Marquez Cardi, Draymond Gates, Sidney Stovall, and Ben Laney. Your kickers, Matthew York, and Control Alt Delete. Your punters, George Lincoln III, and Endo's Constant Room Changes. Your two Glane Blue Moose of Season 2. Uh, as well, again, the custom schedule has been decided. Uh, I do have to... No, home and away was already set. So we start off our season against Kennesaw State and Fresno State, then Georgia State, LSU, Old Dominion, UTEP, UMass, TCU, Duke, James Madison, Wyoming, and we wrap up our season at Illinois. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not holding my breath for promotion. Again, um, for the recruitment board, I'm going aggressive as shit with four and five stars just for shats and giggles. Probably not the smartest move, but I'm willing to go for it. I'm willing to go for it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how lucky we can get. Try to find a, a generational player. State, state, state. Yeah. Uh, and well, we're already locked out for Steve Boudreaux. <laughs> so that didn't take long. We're rocking a 74 overall. Can we call it the Wyoming Derby? We can. We can. It can be the Cowboy Derby. All right. Did we have any luck whatsoever with what we just attempted for week one? It's not looking good. 
Out. Out. <laughs> Out. All right, never doing that again. At least not until we're a bigger school. I don't think we ended up with interest on anybody out of those top four and five stars. So we are definitely sticking with the strategy of interest, pipelines. Yeah, we did not get a single one of these players to put us into their top eight, let alone the top, like, MySpace spot. So that, uh, yeah, it was worth looking. For one season at least, one week worth of recruiting, even though it's the most amount of recruiting points we get a year, <laughs> it was worth it, damn it. It was worth it. Was it worth it? Probably not, but it was worth it. Not a single player considered us. Not a single one. That's insane. Okay. Well, for the prospect list, then. We will start off at QB. And let's double check if there's any four stars who have any interest on us whatsoever. They do not. Uh, three stars. We got one dude, Dalton Hamrick, out of New Brunswick, New Jersey. Two stars. We got one guy, Tim Crum. A sophomore Juco. And after that, a shitload of one stars. <laughs> Holy hell. A shitload of one stars. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. Whew. My scouting for four and five stars need to wait more than one week. Yeah, I know. But and again, I, I didn't expect anything to happen there, but it was it was worth a shot, you know. Uh, running backs. We have 19 quarterbacks on our board right now. <laughs> running backs. No three or no four. Any three stars? One three star. Ed Keenan. Two stars. We got two guys. Darren Wycheck and Steven Van Ness. And for the one stars, a buttload of them. That we are going to have to scout out. When I said a buttload, I meant it. Okay. Well, this is uh, going to put us behind the eight ball for recruiting this year. That's for sure. Uh, let's see. Dalton Hamrick, how good are you? He is a bust, so we'll consider him more of a two-star. Tim Crum? Nothing interesting about him. He's just outright a two-star. Josh Guillermo? Nothing interesting about him. Demarcus Tuttle? Nothing. Ray Ham, nothing. Oh, God. Greg Bishop, can't get a single gem, can I? Preston Calcaterra, Carl Moung. Dude, we can't find a single steal. Richard Ezekiel? Nope. Eric Ring. Clay Akers. Marlon Dubois. Dubois? Dubois. I don't know. Tyron Brewer. Dude, we haven't found a single gem. This is nuts. Darren Horn. Not a single gem? Oscar Voss. Juan Costa. Dude, this is nuts. Brad Vickerson. Dude, we didn't find a single gem out of all of that? Good thing we only need one quarterback because every quarterback that's interested in us fucking sucks. Oh my god. We have put ourselves way behind the eight ball on recruitment this year. Uh, for week zero, by the way, the top 25 looks like this with the George Bulldogs as the number one. Let you guys take a look at uh, all of the names that are there. Who else is up there? George Tech. Liberty's ranked. Michigan. Barely holding on. And your Heisman favorites. Damian Martinez, Ruben Owens, Cade Klubnik, Eugene Wilson III, and Antoine Wells Jr. Uh, so only one quarterback in the uh, preseason Heisman conversation. That's a bit of a rarity, I would say. 13 head coach now for old Toogie B. Cruton. 
Uh, well, we're not totally out of it for some of these QBs, at least. Including Dalton Hamrick. I have no idea what the hell we're going to do for quarterbacks this year. This is nuts. As we start off our season at home against Kennesaw State, um, I need to continue to scout out these quarterbacks at the bottom. There's only two. Alex Costa. Sucks. Sal Mateo. Dude, not a single gem of a quarterback. That is insane. Got to be honest, it's not even going to be worth looking at these QBs. Uh, we will pretty much wait until the transfers, I would say. That is nuts. Not a single gem out of all of those one stars. Right now, I'm only looking at keeping guys that at least have a mental or something. That was horrific. These guys are terrible. Uh, so, I mean, Dalton Hamrick, but we know he's a bust, is the best option of the bunch, or Tim Crum. You know what? Yeah, let's get rid of all the one stars. So, what we'll do is just keep the two guys at the top, but hopefully we find better QB options elsewhere because that's, uh, that's bad. That's real bad. We had 19 on the board. We're down to two. So, we'll give Tim Crum... And Dalton Hamrick, both scholarships. As for the running backs, we'll give uh, Ed Keenan a scholarship with him being a three-star. Darren Wycheck at least has recoup as an ability. He's an actual two-star. We haven't checked pipelines yet, just interest. Correct. By design. Steven Van Ness is also a legitimate two-star. Uh, Tyler Rincone. Start looking for gems here. Rincon is not one of them. You're out. Dion Lockett is also out. Zombie, take it easy, buddy. Appreciate you hanging out. Ryan McSwain's not going to stay. Tyquan Lanning. Nope. Alani Pryor. I can't believe we haven't sound, uh, found a single gem. This is nuts. Connor Thompson. Nope. Mo Owusu. I've never, I've never had a drought like this for gems. Josh Broyles. Cody as well. I'll take it easy, man. Eric Casey. Malcolm Carver. Jose Dingle. If anybody was going to be a gem, it was going to be Jose Dingle. Curtis Johnson. And Baraka Egbo. <laughs> Fucking Baraka? What the fuck are we doing with Baraka in the player name pool? Christ. All right. Well, yeah, recruitment-wise, we're looking real bad. I have made a mess out of this, but the real top story is we're ready for another season here in Tuglane. Looking for just our second win in program history. Uh, Kennesaw did a good job of bouncing up to a 78. We're at a 74, so we will not uh, be the favorites in this game at all, which is not surprising at all. Oh, we'll put them in their gold helmet. And uh, Yeah, that works for me. Season two, underway, or at least about to be. It, I mean, we won one game last year, so it's going to be very difficult for this to be worse, you know? Hello, everyone, and welcome. And I hope you brought your rain gear. A kid named Erm. <laughs> a rainy night for two Glane. Here we go. Bell on the return. Almost snuck through. All right, I do want to take control of the offense for our first drive of the season. Maybe Foreman's our star player. Yeah, I want to see what we can do here, especially with the young quarterback Frost in for us. And those are the guys that kind of set the tone. That swagger sets the tone for this offense. And Jesse, decent blocking and a good run for Strickland to kick off our season. Aegon's in the stand taking notes. Take it to the house. Quarterback 
changing the plays at the line. Decent edge set. Strickland. Jesus got yeeted. Oof. All right. Oh, we are giving the ball to Strickland early. Young Jr. on the jet sweep. Good blocking downfield. Ooh, up to the 30. All right. Good run. Doing well on the run here against Kennesaw. Slam I guess. Our O-line's not paper mache anymore. It's definitely not amazing still, but definitely not paper mache like Strickland. Except six. Keep running the football, man. Strength of this team. If we had no line, we'd get murdered. All right. Cholesterol Lover gets his first carry. Couldn't really find the really find the seam, though. One of the big storylines coming into this year was the rising temperature of the coaches. If we can avoid throwing the ball, we will. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. The pitch was late. It's fourth and ten. We got to go for the field goal. J squared as well. Take it easy, man. Ended up stopping the march. It was good, except we put it in red power at the last second. Damn it. Well, a very promising drive ends with a missed field goal. That sums us up pretty well. With just too much power on it. Fuck. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, shake your head. Be upset at me. You should be. All right. Well, let's see what the boys can do. Those uprights were rigged. I agree. Can we play defense on our own? Can we score on our own? That's the question. It is a scoreless first quarter. We're up 3 nothing. Now down 7-3. to 10-7-2 Glane, 13-7 at half. Not bad. Should obviously be 16-7, but I suck. Thirteen seven heading into the fourth. Not bad. Not bad. Kennesaw fails to convert a fourth down attempt. Instead of going for the field goal, they might regret it. We go three and out. Apparently we had an eight yard punt. Kennesaw takes the lead with 328 to go. Let's see if we can get some revenge here for the missed field goal. First and 10 from our own 35. Back to pass, it's Frost. Horrible throw, Strickland makes up for it and gets us in the Kennesaw territory. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one, and on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. Shit. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Unless there is a dramatic... Uh, what we wanted there. This is not going to be a way to cool off that hot seat. And they're going to have to be able to handle... A minor injury. Yeah. And handle the outside noise. Back in now. Because losing this game in week one, all the detractors, all the naysayers, that noise is going to get louder. That hot seat is getting even louder. You're just too fast for 53. Couldn't stay behind him. Third and two. As we hit the two-minute warning. We missed a field goal earlier, so now we're down by one. Starting off on the wrong foot. This is exactly what happens. It becomes a distraction. They are absolutely going to blitz here. Coach he is, and we're going to find out how loyal these fans are really quickly in this season. They'll move, move him over to block. Try to force the defense to adjust. They'll try to get it. Then blitz. Tight end couldn't hold the ball. We're definitely not kicking a 59-yarder, but the tight end couldn't hold the ball. Well, if that last incompletion's any indicator, it's going to be going into our heavy set. Short coming up, you're trailing late in the game. You've got Fuck. to come up with a big completion. It was a rough drop. Go? Where's your best going match? for the foreman sweep. Down. 
They'll run the option. I thought we had it. I thought we had space and the gap disappeared. Fuck. I was going to pitch it out, but then at the last second, it looked like we had the gap. And the gap disappeared. Well, that was the worst thing that could have happened. We're literally going to lose this game because I missed a field goal on the opening drive of the game. What an absolute disaster. My heart's, my heart's broken. We should have won this game. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Might as well give it to what a fucking man. effort there by the DT. The <sighs> if there was ever a time for our defense to force a turnover, man, this was it. This is it. We need to see that turnover. 59 yards wasn't going to happen with our kicker. He's not good enough. I mean, the missed field goal in the first, and then... He'll pull it on the read. At the 35, he's loose. Can anyone catch him? And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Owls. That is how it's done. Great job by this offense. And because of the score... We should have won this game. Kick the extra point because you're gonna make Missed field goal earlier and a failed fourth down and two to lose possession of the ball. A drop by our tight end. Or at least the ball was knocked out, which would have been a first down. It's true it's not over yet, but it's not looking good. We need a touchdown and a two-point. 59 seconds. Two timeouts. Electrifying 45 yard run to the house. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't Holland did not juke when I told him to juke. All right, problem is we have to throw the ball, and that is not exactly our specialty. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because Hoping for pass interference there. Didn't happen. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots. Throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. The short hand. It's Strickland. Hell of an effort by Strickland. That's going to have to be our first timeout, though. Nothing else was open. We had to go for the check down. I knew they were bringing the heat, but why could end up being wide open here? He's looking to throw on third and short. Complete. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. And they got to the line expeditiously. Spike didn't stop the clock. Okay. 38 seconds, one time out in a dream. Looking to pass, it's Frost. And he got We had no time. We had no time. A third and long coming up here. Can't move straight and over. From the gun, wants to pass. Had to get rid of it quickly. More than third. I mean, they're just blitzing like hell, and there's nothing we can do. After that incompletion, there is so much pressure now on this quarterback to come up with a big play. They need well, here we go. This is the game. They need to keep this drive alive to have any shot at winning this game, but it all comes down to this play right here. On fourth down, going to the air. Makes a catch past the sticks. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. Brings up second down. Okay, right Still here. alive. Second down. I don't like this at all. He's looking to throw quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. 
This third down play more than manageable from the Wasted a couple of seconds there. Defense stand tall. Timeout is called by the offense. They have 14 seconds left. Obviously, though, we get the first down. We stop the clock. I really would like to center the ball here. Looking to throw for it. Let's it fly deep downfield. The pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. As far as this field goal, 41 yards. How much kick power does our kicker have? Given that we can't go for the field goal anyway. Just in theory, I want to know, like, I wanted to know. I know we can't kick the field goal. I know I'm down by eight, but I want to know, like, when it was like, hey, kick this 54-yarder earlier, I want to know if we'd even be able to hit this. What the hell is this guy's kick power? Because he was the punter last year. All the way at the back. Oh, fuck me. He has 94 kick power. Maybe we should have gone for it. Maybe we fucking should have earlier because we definitely hit this. Fuck. Man, I think we've botched this game horrifically. They might win this game. I think we have. Down of possession. If we have a chance to get the first down and stop the clock, we take it. Otherwise, we look at the end zone. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it. Make it work. Couldn't get out of bounds. We're not going to be able to spike the ball in time, are we? I, I made a mess of that game. I made an absolute mess of it. I thought Turbo would be enough. I thought Turbo would be enough. I told the guy to rack catch to get to the sideline, but it didn't switch out of a possession catching time. I made a mess of that, dude. <sighs> Fuck. I made a mess of it. We missed that field goal earlier. Failed conversion on fourth and two. They go down and score a touchdown. I made a fucking mess of that. We, we should have won that game. That is in... That is a brutal, brutal loss, and it's all on me. I mean, I wish the boys simulated better than they did, but I, I threw that game away. And they did have 192 yards rushing. Fuck's sake. Amazing, but he wasn't terrible. Fuck, yeah, I made a mess of it, man. Miss field goal. That fourth and two, we had the pitch out to the outside, but right as I was going to, it looked like a gap opened in the middle, and we didn't have to risk it. And then bam, the gap closed. Defense, we got demolished. <laughs> oh, man. That's a tough, tough loss. That is a super winnable game. Have here. It's definitely not run. No huddle. I want the AI to be conservative here in what they're looking to do. Which out looked easy at first. Too, so, yeah. There's a chance it could have bounced off the O line a little bit, but yeah. Basically, in the moment, it was... Oh, there's the pitch out. Oh, wait, our right tackle's getting mauled. Let me keep it, since he got pushed to the outside. I'm... Yeah, I blew it. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I blew the game. Only way to put it. Uh, we're looking okay for Hamrick for now. Looking okay for Tim Crum. Uh, running back-wise, we didn't finish scouting Baraka Egbo. Uh, not a gem, so we'll take him off the board. Uh, which means we will be... Oh, we already got the scholarship offers on these guys. Uh, we got to make up ground here. Let's get the typical 10 points. Ah, oh, mad at myself, man. I made such a mess of that game. <laughs> super, super winnable. Good thing you have 11 more. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'll, you know, I'm still working on getting better at the game, too. But, yeah, that that was bad. Real bad. 
Whoops. All right, so we need two tight ends as well. We need a lot, in all honesty. We have any good tight ends if we look by interest. Okay, there, what about three stars? One three star Cam Hicks. We got for two stars, couple of guys. Erwin and Johnston. And then a crap load of one stars. That we'll take a look at later, I think, or we can just try to find who we want now. Screw it. Let's just try to find who we want now. I don't care. Normally I target higher end talent immediately out of the gates and then fill it out later on, but I want to see how this works out for us. Uh, Cam Hicks, how good are you? Are you at all? All right, so he's just a legitimate three-star tight end, so. Um, we're already on the board. Get that scholarship in there, get those 10 points. Dell Irwin. Legitimate two-star tight end. We need two tight ends. Welcome to the board, Dell. Uh, Angel Johnston. Get him a two-star tight end. Welcome to the board. You tell me what number Jerry Jerry is. I don't know. I'd have to go look. All right, and then for steals, Devin Cook. Nope. You're off the board. Nate Isaac. I have still not found a single gem. That's nuts. Randall Coker? Nope. Lyle Thrash? Nope. Okay, this is just not the year for steals. Lester Gainwell? Brutal. Colton Burke. AC Figueroa. I don't know if someone's a gem, it'll tell you. Ah, <laughs> uh, nerd, it would. I You missed it when I literally just said this is why I normally don't do the re uh, recruitment this way, but I wanted to try something different. I'm still experimenting around with different things, and I wanted to see if common sense. Um, you know. If, if we could work it out regardless by ignoring common sense. It's not working so far. <laughs> not working so far, but I didn't want to take to the first strategy that worked and to be like, it's the only way to work. It is the best way to do things, though. All right, that's it for recruiting this week. Fresno State, 2-0 Fresno State. We have another home game here. Uh, 81 overall, much, much taller task than uh, Kennesaw happened to be. And uh, we'll see, see what we can do here. Let's see if we can bounce back. <laughs> yeah, uh, nerd, typically I do scout like, okay, four stars, three stars, and then start dipping it down into the two stars and the one stars, but I wanted to see if I could try something different and find a little bit of success with that, too. Uh, no. Stick, stick with the strategy is the lesson. Not the same story. Streamers DMCA left and right. Probably not. On the move from inside his five. He was Great blocking, Chief. Great blocking. They get him on the ground at the 20. Avian Foreman is going to be our featured player every time. And I mean the five star. I know what you mean. Like I said, I am openly acknowledging that I am intentionally not doing recruiting the way I should do it. You are correct in that, yes, it makes more sense to do it the other way. I am telling you I am intentionally not doing it that way as an experiment that is currently not working. <laughs> but I'm too far gone at this point. Sticking with it. We're up 13 to 6 at halftime on Friday. I'm going to be so mad. I am going to be so mad if we beat Fresno, knowing that we could have been 2-0. and Are you fucking kidding me? We're up 20-6 to on Fresno? That Kennesaw fucking choke job is going to haunt me for so long. 23-6 to on Fresno. Make it 23-13. Are you fucking kidding me? Are we going to beat Fresno on our own? Are we going to beat Fresno on our own? 145 left. We're up by three. This is scary. Gentlemen, can you seal the game? 
No, you can't. Fresno has the ball. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Gentlemen, 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 I am going to trust you to hold on and win this game, please. We cannot choke away two games in a row on our home turf. To the air. It's Keen. Throwing right. Good knockout. We cannot blow two games in a row, please. That Kennesaw game hurts bad enough. He's looking to throw. He's got it. And he's brought down after a nice game. Change on the coach. It seems like they were a lot more receptive, yeah. They'll try to get it off quickly. Their minimum number of games you can play in a season. Uh looking deep. Twelve. Why is that think it says, hey, you don't have enough games? Second and ten for Fresno State. Over the middle again, caught. And very much into two lane territory. Very much into field goal range. The play action fake. Play action, looking out left. Knocked out. Booth reviewed, first and goal. First and goal from the three. Hand off. No touchdown there. 45 seconds, the clock is ticking. Oh my god, are we going to blow a lead against Fresno State after blowing it against Kennesaw? Throwing out of the back of the end zone, it's third and goal. Can the defense make the goal line stand? Knocked out, it's fourth and goal. And they have to settle for the field goal. Goal line stand. <sighs> I need to play. I need redemption for Kennesaw. I need it. I need it. They might be able to win it on their own. But I need redemption, or I need to blow it again and cry myself to sleep. But I need redemption here, please. I need to go for this. <sighs> Is going to recommend that we run to go for overtime. Which makes sense. But if we can catch him, we should try. We have three timeouts. Wants to throw on first down. Check down. Got it in the middle. It's Strickland. Here's the timeout. Well just a short game there. The we got to force their defense a bit. With 22 seconds left. Respect that Strickland's hurting, man. See if they keep tossing it around. Same thing. Just need to see if we can catch him. Quarterback have Strickland as a check down. Back to throw. It's Frost. Trying to get to it. Barely got rid of it in time. We can't get anybody open downfield, and now I'm opening the door for them to have time and win this with a field goal. Remember what I said about botching it? I should swap out Strickland, but he's going to be blocking on this play. So. What a terrible throw! Why was it so bad? Oh my god, it was so inaccurate. I told him to lob it and he waffled the throw. Oh my fucking god. We're gonna choke again. I'm gonna choke again. Both teams have fucking choked again. Oh my fucking god. They can't hold a lead and I'm very good at throwing them away. You just wonder in this Were we on the back foot? Was he not done with the drop back? What the fuck is that in him? Mean, was it a high snap? I I don't even know, man. I don't even know. If the quarterback starts 13 seconds left, they're going for the field goal immediately. Oh my god. This 
Call a timeout to ice him. Oh my fucking god. So here comes the field goal unit once again. They He missed it. Yes. Oh my god. We're still tied. Now do I still play? <laughs> I feel like I feel like the boys have lost trust in me. I feel like I should just let the AI try to do their thing. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, I should sim it, let's be honest, but Oh my fucking god, they had time to run at least a play. Right as B had started to get into an open position, we got chased out. <sighs> He's looking to throw. He's going to fire deep. It's in. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. Where we probably should have gone in the first place with me running the ball. Instead, I threw a pick. Fuck's sake. I should sim it and just let them try to earn it on their own because they deserve it. But my selfishness of my Kennesaw choke job is getting in the way. Alternating possession starting on the Fresno wins the toss. It's so nice to be on defense first. Just and they've chose defense first, which is fine by me. Uh, that is what I would have done anyway. I would have preferred offense first. Well, at least now the pressure's off. We can run the football a bit. Strickland! Oh. That receiver just couldn't hold the edge. If he did, that would have been a touchdown. We robbed ourselves of a first down. Uh, give us a zig. And alternate it. Okay. Screwed myself out of that first down when I shouldn't have. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Go. That first, I move Miami to the Big Ten. Sure. Live your dreams. That has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will. It was supposed to be a fake. Oh, that could have been such a better play. I swear to God, I picked a fake. Okay. You know, actually, if we opt out to something different, quarterback making adjustments with his receiver. Go to page, custom stem. I think we can get you here. Looking to throw, it's Frost. He's got it and still on his feet. We got two out of that. <sighs> Had it covered well with zone. Set with first and goal. Apparently, I misread it. So there you go. Takes it from the gun on third down. Makes the catch and runs his way into the end zone for the touchdown. I'm not complete trash, I swear. I just need to warm up a bit. <laughs> I swear, this never happens to me. That is a hell of a throw, though. No back foot that time. This extra point would give them a seven point lead in OT. And the extra point is. <sighs> okay. Can we play defense? Something I haven't had to do against them yet. Can I play defense? That is the question. Now on first down, they need to answer with a touchdown. And we get revenge for the Kennesaw choke job. They'll start this drive with a pass. All the time in the world. Intercepted. 69 me, Don. 69 me. Tuglane wins. Yes. Oh, we got revenge. 
Sweet, beautiful revenge. Our biggest win as a program yet. Because it's only our second win. We knock off 2-0 Fresno State for our first win of season two. I threw a horrible pick. They missed a field goal with 13 seconds left. And on their first play of offense in overtime. The dumbest game. U Tree would meme this one to death, but we win 30 to 27. What an absolute shit show. But their very first play, nobody open. We were finally getting to the quarterback. He went for the comeback. He got hit as we threw. Hit as he threw. Look at that ball. Look at that ball. And what a read. By 69, me Dawn wins the race to the ball. And Tuglane wins. I tried so hard to throw that game. <laughs> the interception. They missed a 51 yarder with 13 seconds left. Wide right, baby. Wide right. If that is any indication of how this season's gonna go. Oh my god. We should be 2-0. Let's be honest, we shouldn't have won that game, but we should have beaten Kennesaw. We're where we should be at 1-1. One one. Let's be totally honest here. We have tied our season high win total with one. As we miss out on the tight end, Nelson Silvestro. What was their wideout doing? He was hoping the ball was going to get to him. It didn't. As uh, Stefillin Green is our defensive player of the week for the Independents with three sacks, seven tackles, two of them for loss. Stefillin Green, the transfer. Great, great moment for him as we get ready to hit the road for the first time against Georgia State. But before that, let's get uh, the recruitment update. We're looking okay for the QBs. Uh, we're looking okay for the running backs. For the tight ends, we are pretty far behind on Dell Irwin. I'm going to back out for him. Um, and then we only have three dudes left to check out to see if they're any good. Rudy Wren. No gem. Joel Okafor. Son of a Mecca. No gem. And Dante McLeod, no gem. I haven't found a single gem yet. I am curious. <laughs> All right, we need some offensive line help. I am abandoning my other strategy because we're not finding any gems. I am going to just start looking for the legitimate best players we can get. And we'll scout people later on if need be. But we need players that have interest first. Normally, I look by pipeline, but are you done with Ball State? I don't know. I don't want to be. Because I'm enjoying that run. Uh, but also, Team Builder, I gotta be honest, was a little bit more sick than I expected. Like, it's actually pretty damn good. Oh. Heck, we could fight for these guys here, too, but we might as well just focus on those that have interest. Uh, which is Rodney Osika, Vinny Costanzo, and Ahmad Allers. So we might not be done with Ball State quite yet, but I, I don't know for sure when I'm going back to it. And because, again, Team Builder actually ended up being pretty damn good. I was expecting it to have a lot more problems. Like, it's not the most complete feature, but I was expecting it to be even more incomplete. Offensive lineman, we have McAdam, Nate Potter. Yeah, I know we have the server maintenance, too. So, an elite dev quarterback, 78 overall. God damn. The hell of a player to pick up. All right, so again, only three stars or higher that have interest in us. We might be able to make up ground on, especially since I absolutely threw away the first couple weeks of recruiting. By doing something that I knew was dumb, but I was still intrigued. Oof. Oh, uh, no three-star linebackers interested. One corner. This is 
looking uh, like a pretty rough class anyway. I might have actually had the right idea. Because the talent level here is uh, not great. Being honest, I'm going to have to make the decision of whether or not I want to go after two stars that are interested in coming here. Or if I want to go after three star uh, that have good pipeline rating for us, but uh, that aren't particularly interested. Hunter, Amani McCracken. Doing something dumb, not you. Well, hey. Well, hey, we like the meme. I like to meme. Um, let's look in non positions of need. Just for the hell of it. Three star fullbacks, baby. Tight end and running backs. Let's go. Uh, do we have any wideouts that are interested? Yes, we do. There's a dude named Wiener. And a dude named Mama. Are you Mama Mama? Muhammad Mama. What was Wiener's name? Play Wiener. Perfect. Um, we already looked for linebackers. It wasn't a position we needed to line. Okay. Uh, so we do have to make that call. Three stars with the pipeline rating, or do we just go down to two stars? Of course, two star quarterbacks we would have already looked at. Running back as well. A lot of people might have. Been. Potentially. I think because I screwed up, I need to just go after two stars. I think I need to. Oh, uh, positions of need. It's mainly going to be on the O line. Uh, Irwin, we already took out. Yeah, anybody that's interested in us, let's uh, let's talk. And if there's any pipeline ratings later on, we can go for them when the time comes. For now, let's have oh my god, let's have these guys take top priority, and we won't go to outside linebacker yet. Let's see, we got here. What do we got to set up? What do we have to set up? I'm good there. Yes, Aaron Miri, we actually didn't have any interest for. This guy I'm not against giving scholarship to, though. So if we can count him as a running back or tight end, probably more of a tight end. Uh, the wideouts that we added. Not the most likely players to get, but see what we can do. Actually, a director called Clay Wiener with such per prestigious credits as the Fred movie. Ah, yes, the Fred movie. Um, yeah, that, that pinnacle of cinema. Anybody that needs a scholarship offer, let's get those out of the way now. And uh, we'll see where we are for these guys heading into next week. Stacy, I'm on cracking, just spamming that button, baby. We're spamming it. Still have to focus on defensive options after this, but we should hopefully have time. I don't know why I decided to do something dumb just to see if it would work when I knew it wouldn't work, but. So many people are like, no, no, it works. And I tried it. It didn't work. Damn peer pressure, man. Anybody ready for a visit already? From you scheduled for ODU. Osika. Can't schedule you yet because we do not have the time. Noted. Well, active recruitment then because we do have the 20, uh, 20 minutes left. By interest. Amrick is the most interested in us. So let's add the uh, extra points to you here. Try to seal the deal early. If we can. So a massive win over Fresno State. We are looking to secure a winning record for the first time ever against Georgia State. 
This is a winnable game, even more so than Kennesaw. Even more so than Kennesaw. Blue Unis is fine, we'll wear the uh, whites. All right. And we secure a winning record. I doubt it, but we can try. Olympic Games, Center Park Stadium, Carolina. and home to the Georgia Damn. State Panthers, and we have been up the coast of Carolina, huh? For this one all week. We've got a terrific matchup for you today. Rich in pageantry and Georgia State. I gotta be honest, I kinda hate the red on their unis. There's no red in the logo. There's like the one red line, like, like they, they didn't know whether or not they wanted to commit to having red on the uni set or not is there a history to that that i just am unaware of like georgia state will kick it off to get this game started all right here we go mr holland he'll bring it back from inside his five he was walking <sighs> that we needed informing every time okay, so here comes the offense for the first time today all right boys See what you can do. On your own, I believe in you. You essentially had Fresno State beat on your own. Let's be honest, you basically did beat Fresno State on your own. Uh, because Lord knows I didn't help. We are down 7-3 to three at the end of the first. Not the worst case scenario, but also not the best. Let's go towards halftime. See what we got. 10-10. 13-10 lead at halftime. We're actually kind of simming well here. This is shocking. 13 all, 16-13. We have the lead heading into the fourth. Can they do it? Down 20 to 16. I'm going to take over. The most dangerous words possible. I'm going to take over. <laughs> I... All right, let's do it. We can do this. Boy, howdy, are they stacking the line. We're still going to run it. Us against them, baby. And we just had nowhere to go. We had nowhere to go there. We are threatening the blitz from the left. Have you block. Didn't blitz. Y was wide open. But I feel like I got chased out. I felt the pressure coming from the right. If the O-line was a little bit better and could have hung around in the pocket, we had a touchdown. Fuck sake. Well, I've managed to make a mess of it again. Fuck. If the, uh, the freaking offensive line could have held on for a second and we didn't get chased out, we would have had somebody wide open. I don't know how you do it every time. I don't either, man. I don't either. I don't either. Is there an outright wear and tear tab? We already have a couple of guys who are out injured for this game. Fuck, man. Oh, we were in such a decent spot. And let this clock tick away. In such a decent spot. I mean, I, I do have like a 60 some odd rated QB. So, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that he can't make those throws, but I am disappointed. Oh, fuck off. Well, I've managed to officially blow this game. I apologize. I blame them for blowing the lead in the first place. They should have. Uh, the team should have never put me in this situation to have to try to save the day, or put me in a situation where I thought, "Oh, I can do this." Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Now down by 11 with four minutes left because I'm the worst. Just never had a chance to shoot. oversight not having that tab, right? I got a personnel. 
What can I do? You know, aside from the fact that we just know Strickland's fucking tired, it's like, do I have to look at every single player? Alright, we're gonna sit Strickland for the rest of the game. Anybody else with severe injury risk? Reese for Bell, you're already the fifth. High risk for Franklin, so we'll put Green in. Apparently my uh, offensive line is dying. Good to know. Spanway is just going to have to stay. Dude, we got increased injury risk for almost everybody. This is nuts. High injury risk for Green. Holy shit. Shit's insane. Van Claiborne, big time risk of getting further injured. Oh, so we're we're just boned. That's what I'm seeing is we are just boned. Fucking rookie sixty nine me Don, I just don't want to risk you. Okay, well hold that trigger in the direction to show you what you want. Duly noted for next time. Well, yeah, I know I know about that screen, but I wanted to not have them in for an extra play if I could help it. need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a kick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me. All right, if we score quickly, which LOL, I know, but if we score quickly, we might have a chance. Quarterback will audible. Gonna run it. It's hardy. No blocking at all, but I didn't think we could get the throw off, and we had an injury on the offensive line, even though I subbed everybody out, or almost everybody. That's not good. What a fucking catch by that tight end. Woo. Oh my god, did we need that? You gotta love the hurdle at the end, because I'm just spamming the Y button to make sure we get an aggressive catch. To throw, it's frost. Feeling some heat. Please hold on to that. Thank you. That's about as close as you can uh, Greenwood, substitute him out. No reason to risk it further. Offense with jumbo personnel. On second down, he'll let it fly. Grab behind the line. It's Hardy. If we can score before the two-minute warning, we might be okay. That's suddenly looking unlikely. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early. Not the best blocking in the world, boys. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. Wide out in motion. He's back to throw on second down. Makes the catch. It's more. He's running, <sighs> Come on. But not Come on. When you see zone covers, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw? He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good what a fucking catch by the tight end again. Unfortunately, that brings us to the two minute warning. Dude, the big men are carrying right now. Job, diving out, stretching out, and hauling that pass in. Quarterbacks love it when they don't have to be perfect every time. They pass interference? And this group of Nothing? They are helping out their you fucking sure? Like a hell of a lot of contact to me. Put the ball up for grabs in the end zone. Can't try to fire it into double coverage in that situation. No, and you learned that in high school. I mean, you just can't when you're in a field goal. Bitch, that wasn't even double coverage. You got to be super smart with the football and make sure, especially throwing a double coverage. That's not. Ah, Strickland, so close. Yeah, and you see running backs. Locks ticking, but I can't use the timeouts because we got to get the ball back. You got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Trying to make their way. Nobody can block. Jesus Christ. Completely, completely uncovered. That should have been the easiest touchdown of our lives. And nobody covered him. That's insane. That's a lot like putting a lipstick on the proverbial pig. Doesn't do much to change the looks. Got to score the touchdown on fourth and goal. He caught it. Oh, it took a hell of a lot longer than we wanted it to, but 
we had to keep the timeouts to not have to rely on an onside kick. Great job by this offense. We do have to go for two. Okay, now we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stop? Now the defense has to come up big and get me the rock. I trust the boys to block. I move Strickland out. Not letting me move Strickland out. Some stem, move that back a little bit. And the tight end over the other way. To the air, it's Frost. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two point. Okay. Could be big as it draws him to within a field goal. They put it in the end. Got to kick it off. Can't risk the onside kick and putting him in range. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Okay. We need the defense to do their job now. And no chance at a return here. Got to be a three and out or it's GGs. Guys, the Georgia State offense returns to the field. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball. First. One. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left, David, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run to ice this game. Conservative, I know they're going to be aggressive, but I also know that one first down ends this football game. Oh, Baba. One more. One more. Probably not to malt for the primer. Six months. Thank you for that. Motherfucker, it's over. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Gutsy play call. There are a lot of coaches out there that would have run the football try to keep the clock going or force your opponent to use more timeout. The plus side. There's a legitimate argument that we could be, if not should be, 3-0. We have a much more competitive team this year than last year. That's for sure. So we are making progress. However, when you could be 3-0 and and you're currently 1-2, and that's a really shitty feeling. Fought so hard. We fought so hard. <sighs> Such a ways to go, though. 27-24. I'm not really too worried about the stats. It's just... The only thing I care about, wins and losses. That's a tough loss.